From the newsroom at news.com.au. Hey, I'm Lexi Cartwright. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Friday the 30th of April. Prime Minister Scott Morrison says he's closed the loophole that allowed two Aussie cricketers to fly from India to Australia. Adam Zamper and Kane Richardson landed in Australia this week after flying through Doha. Here's the PM on 2GB. Well, it's one that uh, became apparent to us on Wednesday and it was closed off at about 7 o'clock Wednesday evening, that flight that those... Uh, the cricketers were on, um, managed to get away just before that. We had information on Monday that that wasn't possible. There's a, I'm, I'm advised there's a 14 day requirement when someone goes into um, to Doha, uh, but that wasn't being applied uh, to transit passages. Now that was different from the advice we had on Monday night. Um, that came to our attention. We acted. He had it changed on Wednesday night. Meanwhile, a traveller who was accidentally allowed into a common area at Brisbane International Airport yesterday has tested positive for COVID-19. The traveller and his partner arrived in Brisbane on a flight from Papua New Guinea, which is a COVID hotspot. They were mistakenly allowed into the airport's green zone and spent 90 minutes shopping and mingling with others in the departure terminal. Anyone who was in the terminal yesterday from 9.45am to midday is being urged to get tested immediately if they feel unwell. Over Overseas now, at least 28 people are dead and more than 100 injured after a stampede at a mass gathering in northern Israel. Attendees had gathered to celebrate a religious holiday. In other news, rangers at a popular national park in the Northern Territory are still searching for a crocodile that launched itself into a fishing boat and injured a man. Four people were on the boat when the croc, believed to be up to five metres long, jumped in and attacked a seat which left one man with minor injuries. The incident occurred at Kakadu National Park on April 24. Alrighty, police have arrested the crew that allegedly grabbed Lady Gaga's French bulldogs and shot her dog walker. Five suspects are facing a variety of charges, including attempted murder and robbery. Now, one of those arrested was the woman who found the two dogs and returned them to Lady Gaga. Police were suspicious about her involvement from the outset and advised the singer not to pay her the half-million-dollar reward. And finally, Saved by the Bell star Mario Lopez has revealed that his 10-year-old daughter recently caught him and his wife getting it on. Oh, Oh, it's so cringeworthy. Have a listen to them tell the story to Lisa Vanderpump. How do you have sex when you have three children anyway? Oh, my God. It's all about the quickie now. Wow. We have have a lock on our door. Can I say the worst thing ever? No, please do. This was so traumatic. Oh, Um, no. Our daughter walked in on us the other day. Yes. We were in a completely different bedroom. I didn't think that we needed to lock the door. She came to look for us and opened the door. So this was the worst thing, right? Okay. So uh, then I would know I would like lightning with the yeah. covers of the little cover. Yeah. I said, I gotta go talk to her. So we couldn't find her for like an hour. I'd die if I caught my parents having sex. Yeah, the worst. Ugh, that's it from the newsroom. <laughs> we'll have another update over the weekend. Your headlines from news.com.au.